All right, these are the notes for section 11.2, areas of circles and sectors. Uh, the area of a circle is pi r squared. We're actually going to see where that came from on Monday. We're going to do an exploration and see where that formula came from. Uh, so just a reminder about finding central angles. The circle has 360 degrees. So if we needed to find this particular angle, you would just take 360 subtract 50 and 150, so that means this question mark angle is 200 degrees. When we talk about area of a sector, now we're not talking about the area of the whole circle, we're talking about a section of the circle. And to figure out what fraction of the circle is represented, we're gonna take the area of that sector and put that over 360. That's the part of the circle I want over the whole 360, and multiply that by the circle area formula. So in the top two, we're finding the area of the whole circle, okay? The six here is representing the radius. The 18 is representing the diameter. Down here, you're going to find the area of the sector, so only the yellow part. I know this is probably difficult to see, but you should be able to see it in your notes that this is 18. It's pretty much the same circles, but now I shaded part of it. So what I'd like you to do is push pause, attempt to do these on your own, and then come back and check your answers. So please push pause now. All right, here are your answers. Be careful here, make sure that you squared nine. It's the radius squared, not the diameter squared. So that should be a nine, not an 18. Okay, for the sector areas, um, I did 120 over 360. It's that part over the 360 whole circle. And then 6 squared pi, that's the area of the whole circle. So I'm basically finding one-third of the entire area. And that simplifies down to 12 pi. Over here, it's a diameter, so it's 180 over 360. The area of the whole circle is 9 squared pi. So I'm basically finding half of the area of the whole circle. So 81 pi over 2, if you have 40.5 pi, that's also okay. All right, we're going to come over here. You're going to find the area of sector AOB. And when we say AOB, we are going to talk about the minor area. Um, so you can kind of see here how I said this sector versus this one. I'll define it for you so you know which one to do. Um, but usually it's the minor arc. So again, I'm going to ask you to please push pause and attempt to do these on your own and, or with a partner and then come back and check your answers. All right, so you can see the answers here. Um, again, I always start off with the central angle over 360. I have the area formula here and then I, I usually simplify the fraction it just makes it a little easier for me. Um, and I have, I didn't put the units here, I probably should have. Um, this is square centimeters, square meters, and square inches over here. Again, if you have this one as a decimal instead of as a fraction, it's okay, you're still fine. Okay, so if you need more work or need to check your answers a little bit more, um, then you can just push pause at any time. Uh, the 360 minus 270 equals 90 is what was helping me figure out this angle right here. All right, in our last set, um, I know sometimes the boxes are overlapping. The boxes hide the answers, so ignore the box. Um, we're finding the shaded area. So these are just a little bit more challenging. So it kind of looks like a sector, but then it, it was like I took the sector and cut a triangle out of it. And that's basically the same idea you're going to use. You're going to find the area of the whole sector, then you're going to find the area of the triangle, and you're going to subtract the two. So I know these look a little more challenging, but I really would like you to try these um, on your own and see how much of it you can do. Maybe you can't do all of it, but you could do part of it. Um, also remember, radii are congruent. So all of these triangles here are isosceles because two of the sides are radii. It also may help to take that triangle and draw it separately to find the area. That may help you when you're doing it. So again, I'd like you to please push pause now and attempt to find the area of these yellow regions and then come back and check your answers. All right, for this one, here's the area of the sector up here. 
the area of the triangle. Remember, area of the triangle is base times height. And in a right triangle, the base and the height are the legs of the right triangle. So the area of the sector is 25 pi, and I subtract the area of the triangle, 50. So this is my final answer right here. Over here, again, I found the area of the sector. Then I drew the triangle separately. I know that this angle, it would be this one up here, is 120 degrees. I also know it's isosceles because these two parts are, ra are radii, and radii are equal. So that means the 120 was split into 60 and 60 by the altitude. Now I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle where I know the radius is 24. That means the side across from the 30 is half of that, which is 12, and the side across from the 60 is 12 root 3. To find the area of the triangle, I'm going to do 1 half the height, which is 12, times the base, and that's this whole base here, which is 24 root 3. And then again, I subtracted the two. On the last one, I have the area of the sector right here. I drew the triangle separately. And again, this is a 60 degree angle here. These are radii, those are equal. That means each of these are also 60, or basically I have an equilateral triangle here. So that means this angle in here is 30 when I drop the altitude because I took the 60 and split it in half with the altitude. This is 60. I was given that this hypotenuse was 12, so the side across from the 30, so the 30 degree angle is up here now. The side across from the 30 is half of 12, which is 6. The side across from the 60 is 6 root 3. So 1 half the base, which is 12, times the height, 6 root 3, got that and subtracted the 2. Okay. So if you did the morning session, if you're in the morning session, as long as you have all these notes, you can do that. I'm also going to post the homework, and we're going to work on that in class as well.